Hey everyone, um, I'm at the IIAR trade show 2024 in Orlando, Florida. It's a great show, by the way. Lots of exhibitors with natural refrigerant products. Um, mostly focused on industrial refrigeration this show and a little bit of commercial and, and a big focus on ammonia and CO2. And what's behind here is a really cool new product from Zero Zone. Uh, propane, using propane, which is also going to be one of those refrigerants that's going to have a big play here in the U.S. So I'm here with the president of Zero Zone, a big Euro, uh, U.S. manufacturer, um, very well known in industrial and commercial refrigeration market. They've been innovating around natural refrigerants for a while, been very active. Yes, sir. And Dan O'Brien here is the president of the organization, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this unit behind here, this propane chiller. Well, thanks, Mark. It's, uh, it's a unique application that we got behind us with the propane chiller. Um, but as you said, we are at IIAR and there's a lot of, a lot of things happening here and it's, it's really a great event to uh, be participating in and, and seeing our customers and seeing applications out there. But the propane chiller here behind us, you know, is a uh, small little, uh, roughly three and a half ton chiller application where we are chilling glycol for the uh, chilled water side of it. We have a uh, fluid cooler to a plate heat exchanger on the uh, condenser side of it. And the system is extremely uh, simple, right? It's as simple as a free So now you're gonna show unit. us, you're gonna show us this. Sure. Right? Um, let me, let, I'll uh, switch over now so that Dan can show us. Yep. All right, so yep. tell, us, tell us a little bit about the system, what we're seeing here, the All different right. components and suppliers you got in here. So Mark, we have a Dorn compressor in here, uh, what about 1.7 pounds of uh, propane charge, giving us three and a half tons of cooling capacity. Uh, we've got a... So from a regulatory point of view, how does that work? This unit has about 1.7 pounds of propane in it. You asked about the uh, regulations and how that fits into the space, right? The current regulations allow us to get up to about 300 grams of, of propane. This exceeds that 300 grams. Yeah. But so how do you handle that? We have to apply by local jurisdictions, fire marshals, and go through specific processes okay, to so get it to applied and a site by so site. Very site by site, local, local, okay. Local application, right? Okay. But, but it's doable. But it's doable, right? Okay. There's applications out there that are using propane today in the supermarket space. There's applications using it out in process space. Mm -hmm. If you think of the uh, the um, gas and oil industry, right? There's, there's ethanes and propanes and all the types of gases, and that has to get processed. And there's compression going on every day in that space, but that's a whole different world than the world we live in. Sure. So this 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 is brand new for this show, right? This you is, haven't sold any yet. We have not sold any but yet. You you've got a lot of interest. Obviously, if you're bringing this to the market, yeah. it's because you've got interest and you're getting questions. So we, where do you see this? Where was the future for this type of product? We see it as a ability to have a small chiller application, still a very low charge for propane and uh, we can provide a chilled water loop to a cold room. We can provide a chilled water loop to uh, whatever process they're trying to, to uh, need refrigerated. So there's many applications, but it's still a, a very small, limited space because of the local jurisdiction requirement. Okay. All right, and then what about the electronic side here? Just so over here we have a class one Div 2 electrical panel. So it's basically taking care of any of the uh, risks regarding um, flammability and sparking and electricity being. So we put an inert gas in here, we pressurize this control panel with an inert gas, and that takes the oxygen out of there. Wow, that way you, I've never heard that before. Uh, so that's a requirement in, in, the, the, in all those special industries in okay. the oil and gas industry, so okay. so you not bring... new. We've done this before. Okay, well, I, I, I love learning new stuff every yeah. day, so this is yeah. really, okay, that is really interesting. Yep, so okay. all you're doing is pressurizing it, getting the oxygen out of there so okay. fire can't propagate without oxygen. Yep, makes sense. Yep, so, so we got... So, okay. All right, so what else? Any, any other final kind of comments regarding this, this product? You know, there's many ways we can package this together. We could put multiple chillers together yep. to get bigger tonnages yep. and more process cooling. So if there's... A lot of different ways we can solve problems for our customers. All right, well, good luck with this. Thank Exciting you. To see. Yeah. Exciting to see this. Yeah. It's great that you're bringing this to the market. It's something new, it's something different. Yeah. We're not sure where the road's gonna take us, but nothing yeah. ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, yeah, very sure, very sure. All right, great, thank you. You're welcome.